Hello everyone, I'm Jason Ross. I'm the uh, person behind Modern Democracy as a site. Um, I'm just doing my transitions here. And uh, this is my first, uh, what I'm hoping to be is a daily vlog um, around the various different initiatives that I have going on. Um, I'm a web developer and uh, amateur videographer. Uh, and I have a real passion for, uh, local government and, and, uh, especially around information management and how, um, open data is one of these things that is kind of spoken at a very, given it's given lip service, but it's not really embraced by government governance at, uh, really any level, uh, either in my country of Canada or any country really around the world you'll get little piecemeal uh, little bits of information come out here and there but it's also scattered and divided and you know you have to go to usually hundreds of different organizations to get any particular piece of information and none of it's interconnected and, and linked together and and so um what i've been doing for the last few years has been kind of getting involved in local governance uh in well local governance in, in municipal politics in particular um i ran for mayor of the city of victoria in british columbia um which is the city that i live in currently uh, a couple of years ago um not as a well not a successful bit obviously um but uh something that i felt i wanted to do for one to sort of understand what it was like being uh, behind the camera and you can see some of the videos on this channel uh, that I did a, a few years ago uh, during that election uh, of my campaign and, and mostly it was uh, around a lot of all candidates meetings where all the different mayoral candidates got up on a table and uh, people asked them questions and then they answered in a short period of time but anyway so since that election I've kind of gone dark uh, certainly this channel has been dark there's been very very little action um the only activity that has happened in the last couple of years was my wife jacqueline uh started doing live tweeting um or for municipal governance uh she did that for the better part of a year anyway um focusing mostly on the city of victoria uh, but also going to some of the other municipalities for those who don't live in victoria um, the Victoria region is actually 13 different municipalities, um, so 13 cities effectively, um, for a population of about um, 300,000, I think it is, 300, maybe 350, um, which, depending on your perspective, is either a lot or not a lot of municipalities, but I think in general that's a lot. Um, there has been a push uh, in recent years for amalgamation, which is essentially unifying municipalities into a single municipality or into a, a smaller number. Um, in fact, it got on the referendum in the election that I ran for mayor. Um, there was uh, a uh, there was a referendum question uh, on the ballot for most municipalities saying something along the lines of, do you support uh, amalgamating uh and, and you know shrinking the number of municipalities that are in the region uh, and for the most part other than Oak Bay um, every municipality that had that question on their ballot uh, got a resounding yes um, however two years forward really nothing has much come about there's been some uh, reporting and, and discussion at the provincial level um, but I don't expect that there's going to be much in the line of change come around our next election, which will be in two more years' time. So we're basically at the halfway point between uh, elections and municipal uh, affairs in British Columbia. So anyway, um, like I said, I personally had been doing, I hadn't been doing a lot publicly. Um, the last couple of years I've been spending... Um, learning a large number of technical skills uh getting my programming back up to snuff because i hadn't been programming as a professional um for a few years and so 
this past year has in fact particular has been um a lot of me getting back up to speed as far as coding goes and also learning new technologies and new languages because um internet web programming uh changes at a remarkably quick speed uh and so you stand still for a year and you're behind uh, by a large amount and as like i said i hadn't done a lot in a few years so anyway i am now at the point where i feel i'm back up to a professional uh senior web developer um I've switched languages. I used to be a Java developer, and now I am a JavaScript developer primarily. Um, but that has opened up a whole new world of power and functionality that um, just simply wasn't around um, even a couple of years ago. So what I want to do with this channel is I want to, um, like I said, I, I, my primary purpose for doing these vlogs is to one get myself into more of a routine of producing stuff in a public fashion and also um there's a lot of work ahead of me um what i want to do is start taking all of the discrete pieces of information about the city in which i live um or the region really uh and start putting them together into a single database system and building a front end on top of it that allows for people to quickly get access to the information that's pertinent to them um, so being able to do spatial queries to say show me everything that's going on in my city that's within half a kilometer of my house uh, or let me know when new development occurs that's within my neighborhood um, or uh, let me know about new activities uh, that might be going on or like new road improvements or, or new uh, sewage mains are getting put in or, um, you know, parks and rec services that are available. There's all, I mean, there really is an endless supply of information at the municipal level, um, but it's, like I said, it's scattered. It's not organized. It's not designed to be user-friendly and especially the stuff that's put out by local government and provincial governments in some cases. Uh, and even federal government in some cases. Uh, but local information that's stored by government at various different levels and in, in different types of organizations uh, is not... It, if it's made available, it's made available in the in like a, a spreadsheet file or some sort of massive data dump that you essentially have to be a developer in order to be able to take and use. Uh, so what I want to do is to take my skills and take that information, put it into a system that I can actually build functionality on top that any person can use and uh, give you a richer experience to your city now like i said my because there's just one so much information and and two i'm a single person at this point uh, my focus is going to be exclusively on the city of victoria as far as it's the actual data is concerned but my intent is to build a system that can allow anyone um, as long as they can get their information for their city or their region into the same sort of formats as what I'm using to put into my into the system, they should be able to input that into my system and then uh, have that same functionality available for wherever they are. So wherever you are, anywhere in the world, you should be able to uh, eventually take advantage of the same type of tools I'm building. Um, but like I said, uh, it's going to require... Uh, either you yourself or or finding or starting uh, some sort of a, a, a uh, an organization at a at a macro at a micro level that will you know go out in earnest and start collecting information for a city and then putting it up uh, online but again so my whole intent is that the system is going to be a nonprofit open source um, tra fully transparent organization that will basically focus on public information both scientific and financial and uh, there's really all there's literally dozens and dozens of types of information that can be put into this thing uh so anyway the whole purpose of this year is for me to um start going incrementally piece of information by piece of information adding into my system and starting to build a more robust system but again something that will scale well and um and provide a, a, a service to the public that is not currently there, but I think should be. It, there's no reason why it can't be. Um, 
anyway, so in addition to the development side of things, and again, that'll probably be a bulk of the video log uh, updates uh, on a daily basis is just what I'm working on, what the system, that I'm, what part of the system I'm working on, and, and maybe even give you some visuals to show you what I'm doing. Um, I also teach uh, web design and uh, application development. Um, so I want to use this channel as an opportunity to help teach you to, if you are interested in learning how to code or learning how to design, uh, or even learning how to edit video, shoot and edit video, which is another uh, skill that is um, sorely needed at the local level. Um, I want to start creating some tutorials on how to do that sort of stuff too. So that will be another purpose for this channel. Uh, in addition to those two uh, purposes, my third purpose is to go over some of the material. I've done a lot of reading on um, municipal governance uh, over the last, uh, well, 10 years really. Um, I think I started getting involved in around, around 10 years ago now. Um, but I've been reading all sorts of books uh, and going to occasional lectures when I can and, and just trying to understand what is it that a what is it that an elected official does especially at, like I said at the municipal level and and the reason why I focus at municipal at the municipal level is one because it's the smallest scale of information so it's there's less information to try to sort through and deal with but two I think it's also the most Philosophically, I think municipal politics are probably the, the most important politics because even provincial and federal um, policies and programs that get uh, implemented and, and put out there uh, have to get implemented at the local level, at the municipal level. So provincial dollars and federal dollars get spent at the local level. So even though there may be a provincial program, how that gets implemented on a, it can change uh, significantly from a city on a city by city basis um so i want to focus at the municipal level and i and i think personally uh, that that municipal politics th that our power balance is almost inverted in a way that i think it should be in this country um the federal government has the largest amount of power and then the provincial government has the next largest amount of power and the municipalities are way down uh and in fact uh, in our constitution, municipalities don't even have uh, a constitutional right to exist. Municipalities only exist essentially on the uh, on the legal say so of the provinces in which they reside. Uh, so, if the province decided to take away municipal powers, uh, they have that right, and I don't think that should be. Um, I think cities are. You know, the really only governmental organization that is an actual physical body. Um, it actually represents a physical boundary and it makes sense. Provinces are more of an imaginary boundary. Um, there are physical boundaries when you're dealing with, you know, water and land boundaries, but between any one province and another, um, that line of you're in BC and now you're in Alberta um, or you're in New Brunswick and now you're in Nova Scotia is arbitrary. It, it doesn't have a, you know, a real bearing in, in, in physical space, whereas the cities are a physical thing. They're tangible. So when you're talking about something at a municipal level, at a city level, you're talking about a specific place, um, which I think is more interesting and it's easier to visualize. It's easier to understand. So anyway, um, the last thing, like I, like I said, the, so again, to recap, the, the first thing I want to do is to sort of just daily blog or vlog uh, my activities and talk about the system that I'm building and show you it as it's being built and, and going in depth about how it works to talking about how to teaching people how to code, teaching people how to uh, parse data and transfer transform it into something that's much more usable to, uh, to being able to do video shooting and editing. You know, a lot of skills that I think um, are, are in short supply and yet would benefit every, any community if there were more people that had these abilities. So I want to also teach that. The third thing though, like I said, <laughs> eventually I'm going to get around to is uh, books. Like I said, I've been reading a lot of books. And so I want to also go in depth on some of these books in particular. Um, what I may even end up doing, at least the thought in my head right now is that I'm going to even just read uh, from certain chapters uh, of different books and then sort of talk about my thoughts and maybe sort of extrapolate what was discussed in the book into 
uh, how it relates to what it is that I'm working on. And the first book uh, that's going to be the focus uh, for me is a book. You now, this is very well worn. Uh, it's called Local Government in BC or British Columbia. Um, it's a free book. You can actually go online and uh, download this yourself. Uh, from it's a book published by the Uni uh, Union of British Columbia Municipalities, which is a uh, organization that all municipalities are members of, and um, so define standards for municipal governance and, and 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 a number of different things. And anyway, so this is sort of the handbook of how to make how to govern a city. Uh, so if you're a councillor, if you're a mayor that's elected to council. Um, you are you should know this book inside and out uh certainly if you're a municipal staff worker you should understand at least the parts that are relevant to your department uh, but even as citizens um it's a book that i think um i think every citizen who wants to be engaged in government should at least read this book and understand it so i'm going to go in depth on this um i've actually gotten uh permission from uh one of the authors uh robert bish um to uh I, well I, i'm going to take this book and i'm actually going to publish it on my website the entire contents and i'm going to link it interact uh so that there's hyperlinks between things and, and try and make it a a living document in a sense and also try to update some of the information because it, it was let's last edition was published quite a few years ago uh anyway so i, I want to try and update it with modern data and also uh like i said it, it provides a really good framework for sort of talking about local governance um, so I'm not going to get into it today, but, uh, probably starting tomorrow, um, I think I might start going into this a little bit more. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's what I'll do. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I've been rambling for a while uh, and I don't want these videos to be too long, uh, on a regular basis. Anyway, I'll probably do a longer video here and there, especially if I'm going into books and going on a technical topic, but. Uh, my goal is to just try and make this fun and interesting and, and if you're interested in, in local governance, um, especially in Victoria, but like I said, really, if you're interested in governance anywhere, um, a lot of what I'm going to talk about will be relevant to you. Um, so please come back and pay attention and, uh, and I will be looking for input uh, very shortly too. So uh, if you want to get involved, even just ask questions, um, uh, feel free to send them um, to me. Uh, and I'll get all that social media stuff ready for the next broadcast. Like I said, this is kind of a real rough uh, test the technology, make sure that my laptop is set up and uh, I've got a microphone. I've actually got a, a, a wireless lapel mic, which I'll put on for next time, but my batteries are charging. Um, uh, and so anyway, but I've got a nice, this is effectively going to be a nice portable video system that I can take with me anywhere. So uh, as long as I get a Wi-Fi connection, I'll be able to actually do live streaming, um, which could be interesting. So yeah. Um, there's a lot of really nice possibilities here. So anyway, I am looking forward to uh, seeing where this goes. And I, like I said, I uh, my intent is to be a regular contributor uh, on a daily basis is my goal uh, to at least put something up sometimes, especially because I, I do work two jobs right now. So I teach three days a week and I program two days a week. Uh, and uh, so as those jobs take, precedence because I have to pay the bills. Uh, I will have less time during the week to do anything of in-depth uh, and in-depth nature, but I will try and at least do a couple minutes to sort of say, here's what I'm doing today or, or here's what I've learned or here's what I'm thinking about. So anyway, uh, I will see you tomorrow and uh, thank you for watching. We will talk to you later. And I have to get my transitions working. All right, hang on.